In terms of picture clarity and, and getting the best, as we say, lighting is, is one of the fundamentals. There are several others, and there's no one that's more important than the others. Really, you need, you need all of them, because they all add together, and they all benefit each other. One of them, of course, is naturally having enough detail in the picture to start with, because you can't manufacture the detail later. On CSI, on the TV, they can zoom into things and read newspapers at 300 yards. That's not reality. That's Hollywood fantasy. You can't do that. I've met quite a few customers that think that you can, and when their system doesn't do that, they think that they've bought the wrong thing. Well, that's because they believe what's on TV. It's not true. You have to design your system correctly in the first place. We talk about pixels on target and all sorts of things. And if you're technical, that's fine. If you're not technical, it's gobbledygook. But basically, if you've got a picture that's spread as a really, really wide angle, which is very often the way cameras are set up, it seems, because the installers just set them to wide angle and walk away. Most of the time, shocking, but they do. Then you end up with all of your details spread over a wide area, so any of the details in it tends to be small. And if it's small, there's no detail in it. And that's the thing. So zoom in on the bit of area that you're interested in. And the things at the side don't matter. And each camera will have its own purpose. So maximise the detail on each camera's area of focus and don't just set it to wide angle because you're throwing away the details that you need to identify people, to read number plates, whatever it is you need to do. Those are the chip principal purposes. We found in the workshop that even from the same manufacturer you can take two or three different lenses and when you look at the test chart to see how, how clearly those lenses perform that there are differences from one model to another. And if that's from a, um, a good quality manufacturer, can you imagine how much picture detail is going to be lost on a cheap lens, on a cheap lens from a name that you don't particularly trust? It's really, really gonna make a major difference. Seeing's believing. If you look at one and you look at the other, you'll be sold on the fact that lens quality really, really matters. If you haven't seen one next to the other, it's difficult to imagine, but seeing really is believing.